In this video I'm showing how to set up your home computer for remote desktop with Frontier Fios. I'll be using a Windows 10 PC but these steps will also work on Windows 7 or Windows 8. The first few settings that we need to configure are in the control panel. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the start button here and search for control panel and open that up. The first settings we're going to change are under system and then remote settings. This is actually where we enable remote desktop. By default, it's set to don't allow remote connections. So we'll want to click on allow remote connections to this computer and also check this box and say apply and then okay. And there's one other thing we have to do in the control panel here. So go ahead and click on the back button and then click on power options and click on change when the computer sleeps. This setting should be set to never because if the computer goes into sleep mode and you try to remote to it, it won't connect. However, turn off the display can be set to whatever you want it to be. So that's all you need to do in the control panels. So you can go ahead and close out of that. The next step is to configure your Fios router to accept remote desktop traffic and to forward it to your PC. To do that, we'll want to open up a web browser. And then up in the address bar here, we'll want to put in 192.168.1.1, which is the IP address of the router. I logged into it before, so it has my credentials saved. But the default credentials are admin for the username and password and all lowercase for the password. The section we want to go to in the router here is under firewall settings. Go ahead and click on yes. And then click on port forwarding. Under create new port forwarding rule, you want to click on this drop down. This lists all of the devices connected to your network. You want to find your computer in this list and then click on it. Under application to forward, we want to click that and then say custom ports. Click on destination ports, say specify, type in 3389, which is the port Microsoft Remote Desktop uses, and then click on add, and then click on apply. After doing these steps, you're done in the port forwarding section, so you can go ahead and click on the main button up here. The final thing we need is the public IP address of your Fios router. The easiest way to get it is when you're logged into your router and you're on the main tab, it's listed right here. Alternatively, if you open up the browser and say, what is my IP address? The first Google result will also give you your answer. And you can see that these two are the same. Although I am blurring out one of the numbers here so I don't have everybody remoting to my machine. So this IP address and your username and password for your computer is all you need to successfully remote desktop from somewhere else. All you'll do is copy this, save it somewhere, and then whenever you're at work or something, you open up the remote desktop app on Windows paste it in here and then connect and your router should port forward this information to your PC and you just type in your credentials here and then you'll be successfully remoted in. The last thing to note here is that this IP address will occasionally change. It doesn't seem to happen very often but it does happen. Whenever it changes you can simply come back to this page and get your IP address or you can use a service such as DinDNS which installs a client on your computer and then gives you a name that you remote to and it dynamically updates these. But that's a little bit beyond the scope of this video, and I'm sure there's others on YouTube that show you how to do that. So that's it for this video. Hit the like button if this information was helpful, and thanks for viewing.